This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. Going back now, we're looking at one of the first appearances, which, you know, I think even that is a lyric that a lot of people know when we think of your first appearance and we know the soldier stuff. How did, right. you know, those commercials and stuff come about? The first one, I believe, was on now. Uh, Life, Life of Death. Album. Yeah, so what, what, what happened, um, I was supposed to do that verse on Silk album, Charger to the Game, on a soldier song. I was supposed to do put that verse on there. They had like a lot of people on there. And um, I, I didn't have the opportunity to get on that. So that night, um, me and C. Murder, we went to the um, casino and he was like, yeah. He was like, what's wrong with Q? You look like you got some on your mind. And I was like, man, I wanted to get on that soldier song, man. And I had a verse for it. And C was like, well, drop it. So I did that first appearance as a No Limit Soldier for all the critics. And so when I did it, and I, when I did it, he was like, I got something for you. Get with Odell, with Beast by the Pound, and y'all put something together. I'm going to put you on my album by yourself and introduce you. I was like, okay. So what happened, I wrote that beat. I wrote that verse off of, um, I wrote it off Buster Rhymes. If you really want to call him with me. And if okay. you go back and listen yeah. to the beat, yeah. it, it runs first appearance as a no limit soldier for all the critics. Real soldiers be on for line and not to get it. We be blasting them up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how I wrote it. I, I couldn't really picture it on that beat. Now, I mean, I could not do with the, um, you know, the grime sort of signature and stuff, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm so used to hearing it. And the one that you went, was it Old Dad that produced that one? Yeah, I'm still, I think that one. <sighs> Just the the whole dynamic of it coming together, and I think even C being out there and see at the end, like yo, P, yo, side this nigga, man. Yeah. <laughs> bring the weed, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in in the way that that really and that stood out too. Yeah. And yeah. so when I did on um, Barcelona, um, can't hold me back. We was uh, we was in California recording that, and um, we was in the studio and and. Odell pulled the beat up. Odell did that beat also. Now, I wrote that verse off Tupac um, Against All Odds. Malcolm. So if you listen to Against All Odds and you listen to that, Odell just flipped the beat. Yeah, yeah. Just flipped the beat around. Yeah, it's it's the same beat, but he just flipped it. Yeah, that's crazy. I I, I ever peeped that about that song either. Yeah, see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, I love music. That's why I can't get with today's music. There's no disrespect from for um, none of the artists that's out, but I'm about substance. They're not talking about anything. They're not bringing nothing to the um, to the table for as making me rewind it, you know. And I'm not too old school to to get with today's music, but it's just it's more of a it's like when we played our music, the older people was like, "Oh, turn that off." So it, I mean, I'm 48 now. Yeah. So I'm one of them older people now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's sort of like the turn of the wheel. You know, yeah. um, you find yourself then. I, I do hear it, but I do feel as though um, the level of sort of substance has definitely been taken out or missing from a lot of the new stuff nowadays. I do agree that there is some stuff out there that has it, but the thing about back in the day, everybody had their own sound and their own style. Which own sound, was, yes. You know, where... Nowadays, there's so much of the familiarity of everybody doing the same thing, sounding the same. Even we take no limit, a lot of people, you know, sometimes they talk smack and say there was there was so much people on the, the label or the roster, but to me, everybody sounded different, but a different dynamic, had a different story to tell, which is why, even like yourself, we would have wanted to hear the album. Like we heard um, the features and stuff that you did on some of the, the other projects, and it was like, we want to hear more, you know, can you remember like recorded? Peace family, welcome to BattleOnline.com, your one-stop shop for the highest hip-hop entertainment. Bringing you the dopest No Limit interviews, hip-hop legends, reviews, views, news, and more. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be updated on new drops and content. I'm not just, I'm not, put it like this, I'm not, just a, a rapper, you know what I mean? Like I can, I, I go in on every different level, you know what I mean? So a lot of my influences come from a lot of the old school, you know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of songs back then is what inspired me, you know, to write some of the things that I write. So, 
influence is just it, it, like I say to even be put in that that uh that category and to be even be put you know on a level with them guys hey you know what I mean that's a that's that's a big thing for me you know what I mean and and I'm I'm just being modest you know what I'm saying it's like it's real you know yeah. I don't see wait I you like I, I don't know if I mean. I am my worst critic, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see myself, I don't see myself, but hey, you know, it is what it is, man. But that's that's a big thing for me, you know? Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.